We have mentioned before that the distinction between words and terms isn't always clear-cut and frequently depends on the type of user. So who are the users of terminology? Well, in general, everyone, because as we have seen, nearly every person engages in some activity which requires a certain level of specialization. However, if we now speak about the groups of people whose professional focus revolves around terminology, uh, we can identify basically three groups. Um, well, the first are translators, uh, then uh, of course domain experts, and finally people who produce or manage terminological resources and whom we call terminographers. Uh, so now let us briefly look at the common and distinctive features of these types of users in turn. Um, firstly, translators. Uh, most translators work in several domains and are, in terms of their understanding and knowledge, somewhere between a layperson and an expert. They work with terminology in at least two languages and are usually in a constant search for equivalents, but also for additional information, explanations, typical contexts, and so on. Most translators work under very tight deadlines and often cannot afford the time to build systematic terminology collections for each project they translate. So they are gen in general happiest um, if provided with easily accessible resources where they can quickly find the information they need. Uh, domain experts, on the other hand, are those who use and sometimes also create terminology as part of their professional life. In some domains, there are few systematic activities to document or unify or organize the terminology. In others, such as medicine, there are uh, numerous resources and institutions um, which try to ensure the use of standardized and unambiguous terminology. Uh, now, because of their deep understanding of the field, domain experts are indispensable um, when we are creating comprehensive terminological resources, especially when we are working with data automatically extracted from specialized corpora. Um, quite frequently, the list of extracted term candidates, for example, will contain near synonyms or deprecated terms which only the expert will recognize. Finally, what we call terminographers may be linguists trained in specialized lexicography and working on proper specialized dictionaries, but in most professional settings, the terminographer is simply the person entrusted with the task of building, ma managing, updating, or cleaning the term bases used within that setting. So in smaller translation companies, the terminographer could simply be one of the in-house translators, or sadly, anyone who has nothing better to do at the moment. In more organized settings, especially in those where the role of terminology is acknowledged, uh, you may find a number of trained professionals employing sophisticated IT solutions for terminology management. Increasingly, terminographers make use of corpora and tools for semi-automatic extraction of terms, equivalents, definitions and examples from text, which happens to be the main topic of this course.